Hi Life Church. Today we're looking at Ephesians 5 verses 25 to 27. It reads, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. Now, these verses are in a section that, to start with, exhorts us all to submit to one another. And they were written in a culture where the notion that men should treat their wives as worthy of their sacrifice, or even just as their equals, was a complete anathema. This was a world where women had very, very few rights. And these verses turn the order of things very much upside down for the Christian church. In much the same way as God sacrificing himself for mere men turned the world upside down. I don't have the time to delve into these scriptures deeply, but I'd like to have a brief look at what that phrase of giving yourself up or what Christ's sacrifice might mean for a husband or anyone else to live in a sacrificial way. We often think of sacrifice as doing things for one another or giving things up for someone else. Christ gave up his life for us, but more than that, he risked emotional pain and very definitely experienced the pain of rejection. Very often we sacrifice with an agenda that we will get treated better in return, but that's not Christ's agenda. His agenda was that his church should have life in all its fullness, that she should bloom as God desired. He sacrificed in order to bring about God's purpose in his church. Christ provides us with a blueprint for seeing God's purposes outworked in our relationships. It puts others first, it risks rejection and it involves pain for us in myriad kinds of ways. It looks like the cross and we're all called to carry a cross. I'm really challenged right now. Does my life look like Christ's and have I put my cross down somewhere? Goodbye.